We were talking about the distinction between legalization and decriminalization, and this idea of decriminalization, as I think you were saying, although we couldn't hear you fully, uh, is that drug possession uh, for individuals is now legal. People can smoke it, they can use it, uh, but distribution and trafficking is, is still a criminal, a criminal uh, offense. Is that, is, that, is, that a fair, is that a fair description of, the, of, of what's going on? No, decriminalization doesn't necessarily mean that it's, it's legal to possess. It just means that if you're caught with it, that you get the equivalent of a, of a citation rather than a criminal charge. Um, so it's not the same as legalization. Legalization uh, would imply greater state control or possible regulation, taxation, that sort of thing. So legalization goes beyond decriminalization. The effort to legalize marijuana is the beginning uh, of what we think is a very sad tale in America, where they want to move towards overall drug legalization. So I appreciate the honest discussion on this because uh, that's my concern. As a dad, I got four kids and we got to look at it, at least in my perspective, what kind of community do we want to raise our kids in? Uh, I always come from it from a moral perspective, whether a Democrat, Republican, um, it's always about our kids in our community. Look, I was a commissioner on the California State Parole Board, worked in our very violent California prison system. Uh, I never once came across somebody there for minor marijuana possession. As a former addict myself with over 25 years sobriety, I can tell you that we don't like hearing the term drug war. Uh, it, quite honestly, it's the media who uses that. We like to talk about this as a cancer, something that can be treated, education, prevention, treatment, and enforcement. And so I think collectively we need to ask ourselves, are we better off with drugs or without them? And without them, I think we've got a much better uh, society for our kids to be raised in.